how you get the transom assembly out there. Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove the transom assembly out of the boat. I want to take a moment first to thank all of my 33 loyal subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're not subscribed, I just want to have a moment of silence. What we're going to have to do for getting the transom assembly off so you can see there's all these bolts so we'll have to get those off I will take this uh, exhaust piping out from right there you can see there's one two and then on the bottom another two bolts go into that I believe and then on the steering here there's a bolt on top with a little uh, holding pin though you gotta bend up to get out of the way and then another one on the bottom and then over here there's one of those little clips on the bottom so you'll just slide that out and then you can pull the pin up then we'll be able to get the steering out of the way we are going to need this uh, shifting cable uh, it goes all the way through the transom so we'll have that laid out straight here that way it'll be able to pull straight through when we take it off also going to go ahead and get the bilge pump out of the way. Nothing special here. There's just three stainless steel screws that screwed into the bottom. Honestly, guys, I'm hating the way they tied all of the hoses and wiring down with these zip ties with little screw attachments on the sides. They're screwing through the fiberglass skin into the wood. They're not adding any extra goo or anything to make sure that the holes they're screwing are watertight after that so all those spots that they do it there there all of this stuff over here all of the wiring over here all those holes water can seep into little and by little and over time it just rots all that wood so I really don't like how they have that I'm thinking I'll probably go with some sort of a uh, Velcro with an adhesive back so that way you can easily take them off if you ever need to Granted you probably Never will unless you're ripping apart your whole boat like I am, but All right, just to show you guys how many freaking screws they have holding all those zip ties for the wiring in. I just started taking them out. How many do you think there was? Yeah one screw per each zip tie and I'm not even done there's still a lot more to go that's like at least 30 just right there and the thing is guys every single one of those holes that's going in to like in this case the stringer in the wood that's an opportunity for water to get in there and start rotting that wood and that is exactly what we don't want alrighty guys so I'm going ahead and I'm taking off uh, these little caps for the vent tubes so that way I can get the hoses out of the way down in there something kind of interesting here you can definitely see all the dirt and stuff over the years that we'll be able to clean out that gets under there these are kind of faded a yellow tint so it's probably oil based paint we might repaint these or get new ones we'll see one thing I do want to note you can see in here the plywood sandwiched in between the fiberglass here it's actually solid, which it's just one piece up at the top here. This might be the only piece of good wood in the entire boat. <laughs> so that's at least something. I don't think I will need to replace that. Alrighty guys, I got the fan blower off with the tubes that are attached to it. And then uh, there was plenty of extra wire there, so that's why I went ahead and snipped it there. Now I should be able to get almost all that wiring out of there. And then undo the screws up here. And then I think we're ready to start taking apart the transom. Well, of course, got to get the steering off. Got to get the exhaust piece off. Then we'll be on our way. Alright guys, making some more progress. Got that red battery tape cable pulled off the top there then over here there's two more cables that have that little uh, mounting bracket there that come through the transom as well so we gotta unhook 
they've got those little uh, banana connectors there. They're both black and both the same kind, so I marked one with a little zip tie or twist tie wrapped around it, which is going to the purple one. And then the one I did not wrap is going to the blue one. So there you go. Gonna get that out of the way. Alrighty, we got the exhaust piece off there. There is just two bolts, or I mean four bolts, two on top, two on bottom. Then it just came right out. How about that? This piece actually doesn't have nearly as much weight as the riser does right there. Get that guy out of the way. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, made some more progress here. You can see we've got the steering cable up and out of there. We've got those bolts right there. They actually just have to back out far enough to where they're flush so then that thing can just slide out. I also went ahead and I got the battery cables disconnected from the trim pump over there. So now I can pull these all the way out of the way, I think. Yep, there we go. Ah, there we go. Now we've got a bit of a cleaner view back here. I think we are actually ready to go ahead and start uh, taking the bolts out of the transom assembly. One more tiny little thing. This tube right here, it's just a tube. It's not wiring, but it goes all the way up here with the rest of the wire harness. I think this must be for the uh, tachometer or the speedometer. But there's just a little zip tie holding it on to this nipple here. So then you just take that off and then you're good to go. Get that out of the way. Alright guys, so I've got most of the nuts off all these bolts here. You can see I've got them right there. Uh, these top two are the only ones left. The only thing kind of difficult about these is that they're starting to turn the bolt with the nut as I'm unscrewing. So what I'm going to have to do is leave uh, one of these nuts with the ratchet on it in here. And this is a pretty big ratchet. Pretty heavy so it shouldn't turn with it. And if it does it should get caught right there. So then I'll unscrew it from the outside to get it the rest of the way off. And then I'll do the other one. Alright, I was wrong. There is no bolt you can get to from the outside. So what you have to do is just finish unscrewing it from the inside. And then it'll just come all the way out there. Look at that nice rust on it. Isn't that pretty? It's actually not too bad on the threads, which is what matters. Bet we can actually reuse this if I take the time to clean it up. Alright, so now we've just got that last one. And then after that's out, the rest of the assembly housing on the outside will just fall off. So I think it's sort of holding on by friction at the moment. So I'm not going to try to jolt it so it falls to the ground and hits the concrete. Once I get this one out, I'll try to carefully go to the back of the boat and then pull it off myself. Just in case it does fall, I went ahead and put this towel down to at least sort of help break its fall a little bit. Alright, now for the moment of truth to rip it off. Okay guys, I got that last bolt out and friction did end up holding it on after all, so now for me to pull it off. Also forgot to get this little cable out of there so got to get that off now so if you're ever driving down the lake and <laughs> the back of your outdrive just decides to 
fall through the transom at least it'll be holding through this line here all right let me get that unscrewed other thing is these trim pump rams gonna need to probably go ahead and disconnect them from there all right well that's how you get the transom assembly out there you can see I've still got some of the uh, wires and hoses going through I'll pull through then I'll clean up the inside there there we go man it's pretty crazy you can see this I don't know if they put stuff around these screws that they went through some of that looks like rust man that is <laughs> pretty nasty to say the least next thing I'm gonna do is inspect the condition of the wood inside our transom plate here and I can tell you guys already it's probably not gonna be good Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you want to check out any of the other videos restoring this boat, go to my channel to see it all.